say it again. The righteous, the righteous shall flourish. Shall flourish. flourish. Now I'm going to take a, a subject, take lessons from the palm tree. Uh, all right. Take lessons from the palm tree. I attempted to preach this once before and didn't finish it, couldn't finish it. I'm going to try to finish it today for you to pray for me. Amen. 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 Uh, it reads from the 92nd Division of Psalm. Uh, the 12th verse says, The righteous shall what? Flourish. Everybody got your Bible? No. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar, cedar in Lebanon. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord. Yes. Those that be planted. How many of y'all are planted? Yes, sir. In the house of the Lord. Yes. You that in this house to stay. Ain't gonna move no more. Amen. Ain't got nowhere to go. The preacher said, I ain't going nowhere. Planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. That's Dr. Tuckman day. Old age. They shall be fed and flourish to show that the Lord is one of the right. He is my rock, and there is no unrighteousness in him. in him. Take the lesson from the palm tree. We're going to school a little bit this morning, Come on, this evening. We'll take a course one-on-one -on -one. Yeah. <laughs> in the literature. Talk about nature a little. Nature is a great part of us. Nature plays a big part in our life. Something about nature that cannot be excluded from the lives and from the activities of people. We absolutely get all of the different things without having any uh, knowledge of what's going on. Something about nature that tells us when things are going to change. Yeah. When there is something different happening. Now, I'm a country boy by nature. Uh, we didn't have no meteorologists in our town. We didn't, he didn't come and tell us it's going to rain today. Yeah. Uh, he didn't flash on news that uh, come next week we're going to have a snowstorm. Yeah. <coughs> he, he didn't come and announce to us that it's going to be sunshine and for the rest of the week, next month, we had to, to know what was going on by what I call instinct. Yeah. Uh, something about nature that, 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 that intermingled with man. And, and we, were, we were able to smell the rain yeah. Yeah. Right. before it rained. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I know I'm going back to yeah. yeah. It's all right. I'm going to go back to it. Take a little trip with me back. Yes, uh, we were able to discern things that was going to happen before it happened. Yes. Yes. All right? Uh, had it not been for the Lord that instilled in us a spirit of discerning, we would not have ever known what was going to happen. And sometimes I can see uh, my uncle, you know, those days, I thought I was a cowboy. Mm. And I would be riding the pasture, and uh, the horse I'd ride could smell the rain. Yeah. Come on. And it started acting that something like strain. Mm -hmm. We wanted to run, but it wasn't time for me to run. Yeah. Uh, because of the fact that nature talked to that horse of mine. Yeah. No. And, and and told me something different is going to happen here. Yeah. 
So if I were to get out of the danger, I had to follow the lead of that Lord. Yeah. Uh, y'all from the country, y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, in, fact, in fact, I got my first experience uh, late in the evening time. My uncle sent me down to the neighbor's house and told me, you know, they called me Sunday. And they couldn't go bring that horse back up here. And it was feeding time. And of course, I wasn't paying any attention to the feed time. I was just going to get the horse. Yeah, but I was a little fellow, about uh, seven, eight, ten years old. And somehow or another, you know, you clam up on a stump and jump on top of it. I ain't from the country government. You leave in the ditch, stand on the bank of the ditch and jump on the ground. Or you two fall and jump on from the ground. But I got on it. We started walking. Somehow or another, that horse smelled something, smelled the food that was being put out. But we started running. And I couldn't stop him. I just held on. Yeah. Uh, and he was running. I ain't going to talk about what somebody said when fishing that. He was talking, he was running fast. <laughs> and I caught a hold to the main and I just held on. And when he ran around the barn, my uncle said to me, man, so you're trying to show the road about this man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was scared, I was scared, but uh, something about mm. uh, those incidents helped me to know that nature plays an important part in your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll get to the, my text a minute. I, I listened to uh, many different things that happened. Uh, I, 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 take, I took a great look at what uh, nature was teaching uh, in the days of Jesus, uh, uh, prior to that, uh, there was a mule going in a certain direction, a man riding that mule, and, and the mule came to the close of a cave and saw the angel with the sword in his hand, swinging it back with the balls, and he stopped. And the man didn't see the, the angel there, and he kept urging him to go on, get up, go on. And finally, the mule got tired of being whipped and beat. Yeah. Yeah. Started, and he looked back and said, Brother, a man, did not bring you everywhere you've gone. Uh -huh. Did not wait for you. Yeah. 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 Perhaps, if you let me pray for you, he, he said, I went where I didn't want to go. Uh -huh. I done what I didn't want to do. Yeah. But because I'm yours, I went anyhow. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and can't you see the danger? that lies ahead for you. And when the Lord opened the eyes of Balaam, he saw the angel there with the sword in his hand. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes the beast you ride, see your danger. Yeah. And uh, when I think again of another incident, I think about what Jesus told Peter in one minute long before he will to die me three times. Yes, sir. And Peter said, not so, Lord, not me. But it wasn't long before Jesus was in the court and somebody said to him, uh, isn't this man with you? And Peter said, no, no, I don't know nothing about the man. And, and the rooster crowed three times and Peter looked at Jesus and Jesus looked at him. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes strange things happen to us in our lives. Have you ever had something strange to happen to you? That you couldn't understand it, and you couldn't know what was it all about, and you couldn't tell nobody what was going on. It's simply because you got a, a learning from nature, or you got a learning from something else. But in this passage of scripture, there was a place in the Far East where the trees would grow tall and big. Yes, sir. And uh, I think this scripture would say that this tree would be from 75 to 90 feet tall. Uh, yes. And it stood very high and above a lot of other trees. Yeah. And when I think about that tree being 90 feet tall, I think about the saints today. Come on, baby. We need to strive to grow up yeah. and become taller in the Lord. Yeah. You don't never want to remain a little run while you live this life. But you want to be tall and be to let the world know that I'm on the Lord's side. Yes, sir. And the Lord is doing great.
Yeah. 
to dig down and tell the Lord, I want you to hide me. Hide me from the shadow of your wings. Oh, yeah. 